go for it. All right, team, everybody out. Natural skins. Attention. Start. Bend your feet, bend your knees, put out a fist, and cover your fist. Slide your feet together, and bow. Relax, stand. Student Creed, everybody repeat after me. Say, to build. To build. True confidence. I must have knowledge in the mind, honesty in the heart, and strength in the body. Winners never quit. Quitters never win. I choose to be a black belt. Awesome job. How is everybody doing today? Give me a thumbs up if you are doing good. Sweet. All right, we are going to get started with our warm-up. So we're going to start off with a combination. Let's have everyone get in your guarding stance. Oh, yeah. Good. We are going to start off by doing jab, cross, push, roundhouse kick, reset. Oh, yeah, right away. So let's have everyone get into a boxer shuffle. When I say go, jab, cross, push, roundhouse kick, reset. Ready? Go. Good. It's a jab, cross. Make sure your punches are going straight out. Ready? Go. Go. Keep those feet moving. Keep your hands up by your face. Go. Nice, Lucy. Just don't forget to push. Go. Go. Nice, Jack. Good speed. Go. Awesome kick, Bree. Go. Nice, Caden. Go. Switch your feet. Awesome job. Keep those hands up. Remember, kick off your back leg. Don't do a wheel kick. Ready? Go. Go. Don't forget that push. Go. Nice, Ethan. Go. Make sure we're staying in a nice, strong guarding stance. When I do that combination, jab, cross, push, roundhouse kick, I want to put my foot back down where I started, bring my hands up, and keep my belly button to the side. Ready? Go. 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 One more time on this side, ready, go. 10 chin. All right, team, back in your right guarding stance, hands up, ready, ah! -ya! So next combination is gonna be wheel kick, jab, cross. Remember, these combinations are gonna be really important for you guys to practice because not, you're not necessarily gonna be tested one-on-one, -on -one, show me this combination, but you're gonna have to know it you're gonna have to know how to hold targets for it. And this is what we're gonna be using for our workout. So, you know, if you're doing your workout and you throw out this really sloppy roundhouse kick, those are gonna count against you. So make sure these techniques look super strong. So if I'm on a right guarding stance, remember the wheel kick comes off the front leg and we're gonna kick side to side, land down, jab, cross. Okay, so same thing, we're gonna get into a boxer shuffle. So everyone start bouncing. When I say go, soup, soup, awesome. And then hands right back up. Ready, go, soup, soup, awesome. Bounce it out, go, soup, soup, awesome. Good, make sure we're pointing our toes. Go, soup, soup, awesome. 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 One more on this side, ready, go. Soup, soup, awesome. Switch your feet. Good, on this side, ready, go. 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 
I have two raised hands. Was that a question? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Bree and Max. Okay, I'm gonna unmute Max. What's your question, Max? Try talking again, I can't hear you. Mm. The audio doesn't seem to be working. Can you type your question in the chat? While you're typing, I'm gonna unmute the Labars. What was your question? Oh, we can't see you. We only see Mr. Dillon. <laughs> Mr. Dillon, are you spotlighting yourself or are you? I have you spotlighted. Yeah, we can't see Miss Casey. Okay. Mr. Dillon, do you wanna show them the combination wheel kick jab cross? Yep. I mean, we know it, we just. Okay, yeah, same yeah. thing for Max. Check to see if you guys have it set to a uh, pin video. How do you see that? So go to the person square, press the three dots. Unpin it if it's pin and switch to speaker view. Here, I'll fix it, ready? Can everybody oh. see me? Yes. yes. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> Here we go. From we're just gonna restart from our right guarding stance. We're gonna do a couple more. Let me nice. slide this down. All right, from our right guarding stance, let's just do five more. Ready? One, soup, soup, asa. Two, soup, soup, asa. Three, soup, soup, asa. Four, soup, soup, asa. And five, soup. Asa. Switch to the left. Ready, bounce it out. And go. Soup, soup, asa. Go. Soup, soup, asa. Go. Soup, soup, asa. Go. Soup, soup, asa. Bounce it out. Ready, go. And go. Three more, make them super strong. Ready, one. Make sure two. we're staying in the boxer shuffle. Bounce it out in between, good, and three. Good job, team, relax. Okay, we're gonna go into our breakout rooms. So junior black belts, you guys are gonna be with Mr. Dillon. Senior with me, ready, and here we go. Okay, we're just waiting on one more person. No, we're not, just kidding. We got everybody. Oh wait, I need to assign, that's why. Just waiting on Jack to join us. All right, so we're gonna get, oh, there we go. We're gonna get started here. So we're gonna move on to self-defense. So our first self-defense we're gonna cover is for a bear hug from the front arms free. So if you have a partner, feel free to have your partner grab you. If not, no big deal. Again, your attacker is standing in front of you. They're hugging you and your arms are free. So just like with any of our senior black belt techniques, I'm going to suggest the techniques that I'm going to show you. If you know another self-defense technique that works just as effectively for the same attack, you are allowed to use other techniques that you've learned. However, if you're gonna use something that I didn't suggest, you need to make sure you get it approved by an instructor before you use it for your black belt test. Give me a thumbs up if that makes sense. Cool, 
All right, so here we go. So bear hook from the front, arms free. Again, somebody's standing in front of us, they're hugging us and our arms are free. I like to do the technique with the ear pop. So we're gonna pop the ears. You're gonna take your dominant hand and contour the face. I'm using my right hand. So you're gonna drag it across their face and into their throat. From here, you're gonna use two hands and you're gonna push back. And then I like to finish it up with my jab cross if they charge back in. And then stop, stay back. Keeping it nice and simple. So again, say the attack, say bear hug from the front, arms free. Ready, ears, contour, push, jab cross, stop, stay back. Let's try that again. Bear hug from the front, arms free, ready, ears, contour, push, jab cross, stop, stay back. Again, one more time and then I'm gonna give you some practice time. Bear hug from the front, arms free, ears, contour, push, jab cross, stop, stay back. Any questions? If there's no questions, give me a thumbs up. I see a hand, I'm gonna unmute you. Can I unmute you? There we go. Oh, I just muted you. There you go, what's your question? What leg do you step back with? Whichever hand you're pushing with. So if I'm pushing oh. with my right hand, I'm gonna step back with my right foot. If your left hand is the dominant and you're using your left, push back with your left leg. Okay. Okay, any other questions? Nope, all right, I'm gonna give you guys 30 seconds, not too much time, because I wanna get moving on quickly so we get through everything. So 30 seconds, just practice so I can give you some feedback on your technique. Go. Alex, are you writing it down, taking notes? Yep, good, good idea. Anybody else, if you wanna write things down? We are recording, so this will be posted if you don't wanna waste the time right now to write it down. If you wanna go back and rewatch and go over what we practiced, or after our class, take some notes of what you did today, that's definitely very helpful if you guys are writing things down, especially with so many techniques. Um, it'll be beneficial to write them down. 10 more seconds here. So if you are writing, try to wrap it up quickly because we are gonna move on to the next technique. So just finish up, go through it a few more times. All right, let's have everybody back out natural stance. Okay, our next technique is gonna be a rear bear hug, arms free. So they're standing behind us. And again, our arms are free, so. Again, somebody's right behind me, my arms are free. I'm gonna turn this way, actually. So I like to use the technique. You guys have a couple options. I know this week we just learned one for a rear bear hug arms free, or actually I lie, you guys learned it for a full Nelson. We also learned, taught a different version as a bear hug. We're not gonna use that one. I'm gonna use the real simple one. We're gonna knock the knuckles. So remember with that, we're aiming right below the knuckles in this area. And just like you're knocking on a door, you're gonna knock right there on the top of their hand. Okay, so we hit the pressure point. You're gonna step forward. I like to kick with my right leg, so I'm gonna step forward with my left, look over my right shoulder, and rear kick to the leg or the groin, either aim for the knee or the groin, okay? Those are some good key points. And then we're gonna cover out, stop, stay back. So I'm gonna turn sideways for this one. So it's called rear bear hug, arms free. Hit the pressure point once they loosen their grip. Step forward. It's really important right here when you step forward, watch your posture. If I step forward and lean forward, most likely my attacker is gonna be knocked off balance. They're gonna fall forward. And if I have bad posture, I'm gonna end up down on the ground. So make sure when you step, keep your back straight. Go into a nice strong front stance. So my left foot is forward right now. I'm gonna look over my right shoulder and use my right leg. Rear kick, I'm gonna step this way. Stop, stay back. 
Again, rear bear hug, arms free. Hit the pressure point. Left foot steps. Look over your right shoulder. Rear kick. Stop, stay back. Anyone need to see that again? If not, give me a thumbs up that you're ready to keep going. Okay, 30 seconds practice, go. Make any notes if you have to. Ladies, feel free to attack each other since you have each other. If you are writing notes, my suggestion is to try to be detailed as possible with your notes. Specifically say, you know, left foot steps, right foot kicks. That way, if you come back and you forget which technique it was, I know these are really simple ones, but when we get further in some of the more complicated techniques, you're gonna really wanna note left and right so you're not confused when you go back and read them. Ten more seconds here, and then we're going to move on to the next one. Miss Casey. Yes. What is it called again? Rear bear hug, arms free. Okay. Yep, and Brie actually brings up a really good point. I know when you guys learn these, you learn them as their names. You know, there's Smothering Bear C, Driving Elbows, all these crazy names. For black belt testing, you don't need to know them by name. You just need to know your self-defense by the attack. So you've learned a couple techniques for rear bear hug. That's why I said you don't have to use this one specifically. This is just the one I suggest. If there's another one that, you know, when you think of rear bear hug arms free, that one comes to mind, then you can get that one checked and approved by an instructor, okay? But my suggestion is to keep the techniques as simple as possible. That's why I'm suggesting some of the most common ones for you guys. Question, I'm gonna unmute you, Brody, unless you can do it, because I don't see the option right now. Can you unmute yourself? Go ahead. Yeah, I did. Um, I have a question. Um, what was the technique before um, the bear hug from behind? Arms we did free. Bear hug from the front, arms free. Front, arms free. Yep. And I'm pretty sure it was clap. Yep. Contour, push, punch, 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 punch. Jab, cross, stop, stay back. Yep. I we did that one. Um, I'm sorry, you cut out on me. No, I remember um, the one that we did, it was four punches. Four, it's, it's the same thing. So, you know, we use those punches if they charge back in. Tip it, hopefully, we don't even have to use those punches. Once we cover out, hopefully we can just get away from there. I like to add the punches in kind of as a backup if they were to charge back in. Whether you do two punches afterwards or four punches, they're both effective. They're both showing you have a backup just in case. Um, so. Either option works. Good question. Are you guys ready to move on to the next one? Thumbs up? Okay, moving on. The next one you all should know because you all tested on it for your junior black belt. It's rear bear hug, arms pinned. Does anyone know what the technique we're gonna use is? It's driving elbows. <laughs> okay, let me move this down. Again, you should remember this one. It's bear hug from behind, so they're standing behind me. My arms are now pinned down. We're gonna step forward with the left leg, and same thing with our posture. We don't wanna lean forward so they fall down on us. We wanna keep our back nice and straight. We're gonna start with the right arm, so look over your right shoulder. You're gonna elbow, and take your left hand and punch out. Okay, you may not have learned it with the punches added in the first time, the punches really help you. You might not, if they are grabbing you, you might not be able to fully extend it, but the goal is to extend it as much as you can because that's, that's what's gonna help loosen up their grip around you. So the elbow, we're gonna switch, elbow with the left, switch, elbow with the right. For testing purposes, we're just gonna do three elbows. 
But if this was actual self-defense, we do as many elbows that we need to in order to get out. Okay, so let's just reset. Bear hug from behind, arms pin. Left leg steps forward into our front stance. Right arm, elbow, left arm, elbow, right arm, elbow. And make sure you're looking. That extra body rotation is another thing that's gonna help break their grip. From there, our right leg is going to rear kick back and cover out, stop, stay back. Reset. Rear bear hug, arms pin. Left leg steps, right arm, elbow. Left arm, elbow, right arm, elbow. Right leg, rear kick, awesome. Stop, stay back. One more time, rear bear hug, arms pin. Left leg, right arm, elbow, left hand, elbow, right arm, elbow. Right leg, rear kick, awesome. Stop, stay back. Go ahead, use this time to practice and ask any questions. Brody, just make sure you're looking behind you when you do your elbows and rear kick. Free, do you have a question? You look confused. No, you're good? Okay, 10 more seconds here to wrap it up. We've got one more self-defense before we get into our katas. All right, team, everybody back out, natural stance. This next technique is for a cross grab. So it's really important that you know the difference of attacks. Um, a cross grab, they're reaching across to grab your hand. There's a straight wrist grab where they're grabbing on the same side. And then there's a cross grab where they're reaching across. Caden uh, and Bree, can I actually use you two to demonstrate for me real quick, just to show what a cross grab looks like? So, Kaden, I want you to take your right hand and I want you to reach across and grab Bree's hand across. So, that's a cross grab. Can you demonstrate a straight grab with the same hand? That's a, yep, that's a straight wrist grab. So, for this technique, go back to the other wrist. For this technique, it's a right cross grab. So, the attacker is using their right hand reaching across. That would mean they're grabbing your right hand. So you ladies can relax. So you're the one being attacked. So hold your right hand out. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do the technique crossing the talon. So first thing we're gonna do is counter grab. Now, one thing that we added into this technique, which I think makes it a little bit stronger, is you can pin the hand before you counter grab, and it gives you some extra control. You don't necessarily have to do the pin, but if you feel like they have these really big, strong hands, sometimes that extra pin is a little beneficial, okay? With our counter grab, we want to make it a small, tight circle, not this giant circle, okay? So small circle. From here, our right foot's going to step forward, and we're stepping in front of our partner's legs. What happens when we step in front, in the next part, we're going to be rolling them over. If your leg's not in front of theirs, it's gonna be really hard to control them because they can just walk forward and walk right out of your technique. So if you step behind their legs, it's not gonna be very effective, okay? So go back, hold your right hand out. It's called uh, right cross grab is the, is the attack. We're going to counter grab. Right foot's going to step in front of their legs. Your left hand is going to roll them over. Remember, we're utilizing the pressure point under their arm here. So we're gonna get our arm right in there. 
and we're gonna roll it this way. If you don't get it in that first initial roll, you can do a sawing motion on their arm and they'll really feel that pressure point and that's what's gonna help bend them over. After this position, your partner is gonna be in this like awkward hunched over position. So we're gonna elbow to their face, elbow down the spine and elbow straight down. Okay, reset. So the attack is a right cross grab. So your right hand is out, counter grab one, left foot steps in front, roll them over, two, elbow to the head, three, rake down the back, and elbow to the spine, boom. Stop, stay down, or stop, stay back. Reset, right cross grab, counter, step in front, and from here I like to drop my stance a little bit, I don't want straight legs, because their legs are behind us, if our legs are straight, they have the ability to knock our leg out, so we need to make sure we're in a nice strong stance. We're gonna roll them over, elbow, rake down the spine with your elbow, elbow straight down. And that's all being done with your left hand. So because our left foot's in front, it's that hand that's closer to your attacker. Okay, I think I saw some of us using our back hand. Let's try it again. So right hand is out, ready, counter grab, left foot steps forward, Caden and Bree, make sure it's your left foot forward. So if your right hand's being grabbed and counter, grab, counter grabbing, it's the opposite foot stepping forward. Okay, now our left hand's in front, we're gonna roll them over, elbow to the head, Break down the spine, elbow straight down. Stop, stay down, or stop, stay back. One more time, just because I think this is the hardest out of all the others we went over today. Ready, right cross grab, our right hand counters, our left foot steps forward, our left hand's gonna roll them over, left elbow, left rake down the spine, and elbow straight down. Stop, stay back. Good, make sure everybody bends your knees a little bit when you have bringing them into that arm bar and uh, rolling them down. You don't wanna be standing straight up. Okay, I want you guys to practice real quick. 30 seconds so I can critique. I know Alex, you're writing it down. Alex, can you go through it at least one time so I can see? Good, Jack. Counter, step forward, roll. You froze on right there. Mr. Dillon, did you see that? He froze for me, too. All right, do it one more time. Sorry. <laughs> Good. Just like Mr. Dillon and I said, when you do step forward, just drop your stance, make it a little bit stronger. Okay, that way you do have that good strong base. Okay, 10 more seconds, wrap it up team. Alex, you can go back to writing it down if you need to. Okay. Miss Casey. Yes. We're a little confused. Okay, what are you confused about? Like we, we get the first part. We like this and step, but that's where we like. Okay, so you're stepping in front of their legs. Why don't you do it with Brie? So Brie, grab her wrist. And anybody who needs that visual, watch them as I walk them through it. So Kaden, first thing, right hand's gonna counter grab. So you reach around, grab her wrist. Now, left foot, step in front of her legs. Yep, you now you're gonna take your left hand and roll her over. So you're controlling her height right now. She was standing up tall. Now you controlled her height, so she's at a lower position. The hand that just rolled her over, elbow to her temple, yep. uh -huh. rake down the spine, and elbow straight down. From there, just drop her hand, push away, stop, stay back. Oh, it's, yeah, it's way okay, more that makes sense. It, is, it's, it can be tough to do it in the air. It does make sense when you have that actual partner. Yeah. So using your siblings, using your parents to help you out, that'll really help, uh, help you guys. Okay. Okay. Any other questions before we move on to Kata?
Give me a thumbs up if you're ready to move on. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna go over two katas today. We're gonna go over striking set and target set. Let's start with target set. Now, I like to say the names. So for target set, we're focusing on specific targets of the body. So the nose, the throat, things like that. Striking set, we're focusing on the strikes. So hammer fist, heel palms, things like that. Okay, they are two different katas, so you're not doing the same moves. So let's start with target set. So, and remember, I know the camera flips me sometimes. So uh, if I am flipped, don't mirror me. I'm gonna say which hand is doing what. So we start, feet together, bring your hand up, action kata, target set, bow. You're gonna get into your right garden stance, so that means your right foot steps back. You're gonna start with your back hand, which would be your right hand, and the first two moves are gonna be heel palms, but we're gonna say nose, nose. Okay, so again, it's gonna go back hand, front hand, nose, nose. Next is gonna be our web hand. So hitting right between our thumb and index finger, we're gonna aim for the throat. So back hand or right hand first, throat, throat. Also notice how in between each strike, I'm keeping my hands up. Okay, very important. Because these are such basic katas, we're looking for those tiny details, keeping your hands up. We're looking for you to rotate your shoulders with each strike. Okay, so let's go from the beginning. Just go back to your guarding stance. First two moves, heel palms, nose, nose, throat, throat. Next is gonna be eye darts. With our eye darts, we want our fingers spread apart wide, not necessarily tight like this. And the reason is, is so any finger can really enter in the eye. If our fingers are tight like this, we don't have as much range. So spread your fingers apart for these eye darts. So we just did throat, throat, get those eye darts, eyes, eyes, reset. Action kata, target set, bow, right guarding stance, right hand starts, nose, nose, throat, throat, eyes, eyes, two claps, this is gonna go to the ears. From the ears, you're going to take your front leg, you're going to do a side kick. I cannot stress to you enough, the chamber and re-chamber of your side kick are so, so, so important. If you do a wheel kick, you will fail your kata when you test. So make sure your chamber comes up to the side, push out, re-chamber. We wanna see those three steps, okay? That first kick, so ears, that side kick is gonna go to the knee. So because it's going to the knee, use your knee level. You shouldn't be doing a side kick way up here. We're not fighting a giant. Your side kick's gonna go to knee level. So we just did knee. You're gonna pivot your toes forward. You're gonna snap out a right front kick to the groin. So knee, groin. We're gonna use that front leg again. This time our side kick is gonna go to the shin. So another side kick, but just a little bit lower than the first one. We did knee, right leg groin, left leg shin. Now our right leg is gonna finish with a foot stomp. And let me turn the camera down. When I do my foot stomp, I'm just crossing right in front and stomping, boom, right on the foot. Okay, let's go through it again from the beginning. Action kata, target set, bow, right leg back, aya. Heel palms first, nose, nose, throat, throat, eyes, eyes, ears, into our garden stance, front leg, side kick, knee, pivot your toes, front kick, groin, turn your belly back to the side, side kick lower, shin, and last one, foot. Knee together and bow. Any questions? If so, unmute yourself, ask. If not, we're moving on. Thumbs up if you're ready to move on. No, ma'am. There we go. 
I'm ready. You're ready? Okay, <laughs> I thought you had a question. So the next one we're gonna go over is striking set. Very similar concept. We're gonna be doing it from the right guarding stance, backhand, front hand, but now we're focusing on the names of the strikes. Let me move it back down and a little bit more. Okay, so action kata, striking set, bow, guarding stance, backhand first, we're gonna do two hammer fists. So hammer fist, hammer fist. Next is gonna be heel palm, heel palm, heel palm. Then elbows, elbow, elbow. So from the top, ready, hammer fist, hammer fist. Heel palm, heel palm. Elbow, elbow, make sure with those elbows you're really twisting, going across. After your two elbows, you're gonna bend your knees a little bit and push. Good, reset. Action kata, striking set, bell. Hammer fist, hammer fist, heel palm, heel palm, elbow, elbow, push. Your front leg is going to do a side kick. Now we're going to do a spinning side kick. Go slow. Everybody repeat after me. Say slow is smooth, smooth is fast. I see some of us kicking when I didn't even say kick yet. So make sure you get this kick down slow first. Speed will come with practice. Now you are, all are testing for your senior black belts, so we should have our spinning kick down. However, if your technique is sloppy, slow it down and focus on the basics. So with our spinning kick, turning over our right shoulder, we spot, our right leg is gonna do that side kick, AKA spinning side kick. Reset, and we're gonna finish it. Everybody slow down on that spinning side kick. Action kata, striking set, bow, oh yeah. Hammer fist, hammer fist, heel palm, heel palm, elbow, elbow, push, left leg, side kick. Spot over your right shoulder. Make sure your knees are slightly bent here. Your belly should be sideways to the opposite side. Right leg does that spinning side kick, land in your left guarding stance. You're gonna take your left leg and you're gonna do an advancing front kick. So we're landing forward back into our right guarding stance. And then we're gonna finish with a knee. Your right leg does that knee. Feet together and bow. One more time. <laughs> One second, Miss Casey. Yes. Everyone, make sure you're being very careful with that spinning side kick, especially if you're going to try and do it fast. Slow move. This, can I do a sloppy side kick really fast? It's not going to look like a side kick anymore. It looks more like a hook kick. And then if I do a hook kick in my kata, I'm not going to pass for it. So really make sure you take the time, practice the basics of a spinning side kick. Okay, here we go, everybody, tension. Action kata, striking set, bow, aya. Hammer fist, hammer fist. Heel palm, heel palm. Elbow, elbow. Squat and push, left leg, side kick, spot. Spinning side kick. Take your left leg. Advancing front kick. Your right leg. Knee. Feet together. And bow. Okay, that brings us to the end for today. Do you guys have any questions on either that kata or anything we covered today? No. No, ma'am? No, ma'am. Awesome. Um, everybody else, any other questions? Good, thumbs up if you guys are good. Awesome, all right, we're gonna bow out. Uh, make sure, just like always, take some videos of you guys going through your techniques and your katas that we just covered. Send them to your personal coach so they can go back and give you some, uh, some personal feedback. And that's pretty much it. So Mr. Dillon, do you wanna bow everybody out?
Everybody out in natural stance. Tension. Bow towards me. Bow to moms and dads if they're in the room. Say thank you. AB. Awesome. Let's see. If you guys want to say goodbye to each other, feel free to unmute yourself or you're free to go. <laughs> nice bobblehead, Alex. <laughs> we can't hear you, Brody. Bye, all. Bye. <laughs>